Hey tubers, so uh, I know it's been about two weeks since I posted a video. My fiance's been home, so I've been kind of preoccupied by other things. And my truck has been running like crap lately. I have a lean code on bank one, which is the passenger side bank. And uh, I believe that it has to do with the PCV tube, um, because I kind of made one up when I put the truck together because I didn't have one and I couldn't find one and it was just rubber so I said why not um, but now the rubber that was really tight when I uh, put it together is kind of loose so um, I ordered the correct tube and I'm going to try and show you how to put it on. This is what the tube looks like basically it sits like this in the engine bay this, go, this little elbow goes on the back of the intake manifold and this PCV valve goes inside of the passenger side uh, valve cover. It sits in the passenger side valve cover. And it's Ford part number F75E-6C324-JB. So I bought this on eBay for about $33 shipped. Not too bad considering the fact that it had, I would have had to go and chase it at the dealership. It was here in about two days. I'll see if I can put the seller's information in. Uh, the bottom thing or side thing wherever it is nowadays and uh that way you guys if you need one he had a few of them so so the thir first thing i did was i pulled the plastic triton 54 cover off of it and then i pulled the pcv valve out now you can see the hose is back there uh, maybe you can't on the camera but there is the hose back there and the elbow or my aftermarket elbow sits on the back of the uh, intake manifold so I may have to end up taking the throttle body and everything off just to get at it because it doesn't want to slide off nicely all right so before I do anything with the truck I want to show you the code that I'm getting I'll get the key turned on so p0171 system to lean on bank one uh, basically that's one of a couple of things either uh, the math or mass airflow sensor uh, is followed up or something's wrong with it or commonly from what I read is that tube that I'm about to replace or I believe the other one was the O2 sensor but don't quote me on that one I'm not sure you have to go look it up um, but that's the code I'm getting it's running rough um, which it would if it's got a vacuum leak so that's what I'm hoping to clear today by changing that PCV tube uh, and that seems to be a common problem with this error code all right, so you guys can see I have the throttle body and everything off. And back there, right in the center, is the offending tube that I believe is the problem. And you can see why it was not fun to get your hand back there. So I'm going to take that off and replace it. And hopefully that will correct my problem. Also, as an added measure, I'm going to take the idle air control motor off and clean it. Make sure there's nothing wrong with it. All right, so you can see that I have the new line on there. It's nice and snug in place. So I'm gonna put it back together and clear the codes out of the computer. And I hope that that will clear up my idle issue. This hose is the one that I had kind of made up to replace the original one. And this is the aftermarket PCV valve. And it's quite dirty for some reason. So uh, it's good that I'm changing it anyway. But it was real loose in here. And I think this is where my vacuum leak was coming from. All right, so I have it all back together, uh, minus the plastic 5.4 cover, which I'll put on momentarily, but I'm gonna start it up and clear the codes out of it, and hopefully that'll fix my idle issue. So clearing the codes on this is fairly simple. You put the key into the on position, you hook up your scanner, and it'll make connection with the onboard computer. Now there's my code, P0171. I'm going to click the erase key. I'm going to click it again because I'm sure I want to erase it. They're all gone. Press exit. And there are no DTCs in the computer right now. But it has to reset all five of these monitors. The CATs, the O2s, uh, HTR, I'm not sure what it is. The EVAP system, which is for the uh, gas tank and the fuel system, and EGR. I'm going to start it and see what happens. Yep. Sounds better. It is still running a slightly rough, but probably because it hasn't set all the monitors yet. So I really probably need to go out and drive it. Once those set, 
hopefully it'll fix it. It's idling much higher now, which is good. So there's a little bit of a procedure to get the, co the monitors to set in this truck. And there's a couple different ways of doing it. You can just drive it around all the time for, you know, basically a few miles and uh, it'll be fine. But I like to go out and actually set all the monitors or most of them before I go and start driving it. So I take it down the backcountry roads and practice some city driving by stopping and going because that also helps set the monitors. Uh, the EVAP monitor will not set unless you have three quarters of a tank in the truck and I think it has to be cold. So, but I need to double check on that. But there are some other monitors I can set, EGR, etc. Most of those set fairly easily just by driving it. Um, I believe the CATS and the EVAP are, well, you also have to be on the highway for that, so. All right, so I got three of the five monitors to set. The EVAP and the CAT monitor, uh, hopefully it'll set tonight when uh, I run off to class and take it on the highway and fuel up and whatnot. So, but I got the O2s, the HTR, and the EGR monitors set. So, uh, hopefully this will correct my idle problem by changing that tube.